If you're going to choose a good installations company, you know, you want a company that's actually got a bit of a good reputation that's been in the market for a little while. Say if you get a new company that's just a startup company, they've been in business for one year, how are you going to, you know, follow through on the warranty? But I would probably be looking at those companies that actually been in business for at least three to five years. I like the ones eight to ten plus years. Absolutely, you can't miss there. <laughs> We're here at All Energy with Damon Gray from JA Solar. Uh, what makes the JA Solar panel any different? We're the true definition of tier one. We have a 100% uh, robotic process on our production lines. Being vertically integrated, we make our own cells, wafers, inlets, and solar panels. And we have a very, very heavy focus on research and development. What about bankability? Over the last five years, uh, we've been, at least probably maybe a little bit longer, but I can testify the last five years since I've been with JA. According to a BNEF survey, um, when you have five of our other competitors, we're ranked number one in bankability. So if I'm an end customer of residential and I want to choose a solar panel, what's the thing I should really look out for? I would probably say uh, I'd be looking at the power output of the module, possibly even the technology, whether it's a P-type or an N-type module. And if you like the aesthetics look, you have there's plenty of choices to choose from, some with white back sheet, some with silver frame. You seem to have a full black model there. What's the advantage of that? Um, well, basically, mainly for aesthetics looks. So if you've got a brand new color bond roof, which is a very beautiful roof, and you don't want any silver or any white poking through your panel, you can throw some of these up on your roof and you just have that whole black mirror looking effect on top of your roof. Looks schmick. And what's the latest trend in solar panels? The latest trend, I would say, would be our N-type modules, as well as the wafer sizes have actually increased, allowing for um, much um, larger output and um, better efficiency of the modules as well. Even if you have the best solar panel, how important is it to get a good installer? Oh, absolutely important. Like a lot of these modules come with, uh, some have, you know, 25-year uh, warranties on uh, the workmanship, 30 years on uh, linear power output. Um, and if you have, if you're going to choose a good installations company, you know, you want a company that's actually got a bit of a good reputation that's been in the market for a little while. I mean, I think it's kind of a little bit hard pressed to um, say if you get a new company that's just a startup company, they've been in business for one year, and then, you know, how are you going to, you know, follow through on the warranty? And I, I would say the after sale service would be very, very important as well. Yeah. So you're saying if a new company is one year in business and gives you a 10 year installation warranty, there's a bit of a discrepancy, is it? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say a discrepancy, but I would probably be looking at those companies that actually been in business for at least, you know, three to three to five years at least. And, you know, just do, the, do, do your background, and your homework on the company. I like the ones eight to 10 plus years. Absolutely, you can't miss there. What is kind of the most important thing if I'm an end customer that I should really look at at number one? Is there one? I would probably say uh, warranty would be very important on the module. So the, uh, the warranty that the module manufacturer or the uh, service provider is actually offering. Uh, and power output as well as the cell efficiency would be important as well. And the degradation rates, very important. Do you think a lot of customers get that or do you think they really need a good installer to explain all that? Well, based on my background, I came from the residential space before I worked for the manufacturer and then I moved into wholesale distribution and then I worked directly for the manufacturer. So a lot of my job was educating the customer to, uh, to these points when it comes to choosing the right panel and the solution for their electricity needs. But they're very smart salespeople sometimes who even claim that some solar panels work under moonlight. How do you fight that as an inexperienced customer when you get scammed and ripped off? Yeah, it wouldn't be a good feeling. Um, the only way those panels are going to work under moonlight is if you got a battery backup storage system uh, sitting over there or they're using some technology from Mars. <laughs> I haven't heard that one yet. But, you know, just uh, to dispel the, um, the misconception, these panels work based on light. So it wouldn't be moonlight. It would be um, not even direct sunlight. As long as it's light outside, then you should get um, a good, um, uh, yeah, good outcome on it. But no panels will work under moonlight. Not to my knowledge, no. I'd like to see the company that actually comes up with that technology. It'll be a good one. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Marcus, good to see you. Thank good to you. see you. Thank you. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell, and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.